Well, hello there, good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. I am absolutely starving. I don't know why I've done this. I do know why I've done this. It's because this is a bit of a spontaneous video. I'm about to make breakfast and I wanna tell you my number one healthy eating tip, which I've kept to myself for a while because I've been embarrassed, okay? Honestly, it sounds pretty controversial. It probably is, but to me, it is the one tip that changed the game for me and helped me to eat a healthier diet long-term. So please excuse the boff of my hair. I'm letting it air dry. I'm trying to reduce the heat. Just wonderful, going really well, thanks, really well. So my number one healthy eating rule, which sounds pretty contro, probably is, is to only eat healthy food that you actually like. <laughs> sounds controversial, but hear me out. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many times I tried to improve my diet by forcing myself to eat salads, drink smoothies, eat all this stuff that I just didn't love. And this is why, this is why that is such a bad idea, forcing yourself to eat healthy food that you don't like or expecting that you will live a diet where you continuously eat stuff that you genuinely do not enjoy, that you actively dislike. When we do that, we're not only asking ourselves to give up the foods that we do love or eat less of the foods that we do love, like ice cream and pizza or whatever it is that you like, you are asking yourself to replace it with foods that you really don't like. That is so hard. That is two really big asks. Number two, you're setting yourself up to live a life for the rest of your life eating stuff that you don't enjoy. Like, what is that? Food is more than just nutrition for the body. It's like, it low-key makes you happy. It's cultural, it's social. It can literally make you feel, feel emotions of joy. <laughs> and there's just no need for taste bud disrespect. Now, when you think about it, we already do this. We have no problem doing this when it comes to unhealthy food. You can probably name five different foods that are considered unhealthy that you don't eat because you don't enjoy. For me, I don't like tiramisu. People love tiramisu. It's a dessert that people love. I personally don't love it. The other day, someone brought some into work and I declined and people were like, what? And I was like, I genuinely just don't enjoy that stuff. But then when someone else brought in chocolates, I was like, yes, serve me up because that is more my preference and I felt no shame I didn't feel guilty people didn't say to me Sarah what are you doing you have to eat this tiramisu no one cared it wasn't that deep so why is it that when we start to eat healthily we suddenly have to like the exact same things that other people like it is just it just doesn't work like if you don't love kale I remember when I first started trying to improve my diet kale was really like boom power food everyone needs kale now at the time I really liked spinach I love spinach I think it was the brainwashing of watching Popeye growing up with the whole ah oh, he's dench because he ate some spinach genuinely loved spinach I thought it was nice and neutral would add it to soups and stews and whatever but then for some reason <laughs> I then stopped buying as much spinach and started buying kale because kale was the thing and it had you know these vitamins that I needed and I didn't like it I didn't enjoy kale so then instead of loving my soup or my stew I was then like, mm, it's a bit bitter because of the kale, which probably meant I wasn't cooking it right and I have since learned to cook kale better, but that's not the point. The point is, why did I do that? Why did I do that? So I make this video to say, don't force yourself to eat healthy food that you don't like. And obviously there's caveats with that. There is a certain degree to which you'll have to adjust your palate. So for example, if you're using less butter on your bread and it's now whole grain bread instead of white bread, then yeah, there'll be a slight palate adjustment, but there's a big difference between adjusting and completely changing what you eat to foods that you don't enjoy. Now, the reason this is so, oh, my tummy's grumbling. The reason that this is so key is because it helps you to stick to it long-term. Okay, what we're looking for is not a two week perfection. We're not looking to be anyone else. We're looking to eat healthily long term. And what will help you do that is if you honour who you are, honour your preferences and choose healthy food that you genuinely like. You don't have to eat the same food as me or Nancy or Chi Chi or Greg. You can eat what you enjoy. And that might take some experimentation. So most of us, we've effortlessly throughout our life figured out some kind of diet that we're used to, right? Maybe our parents or our guardian fed us certain things growing up. We found out what we liked and what we didn't like. So when we're choosing to change that and improve that, it means that it might take a bit of research. It might be that you need to try more fruits and vegetables. So you don't like carrots. I mean. I personally don't know why he wouldn't like carrots. I love them. I absolutely love carrots. But if you don't like carrots, that's totally cool. Try a load of other vegetables until you find one that you don't mind. And don't get me wrong, you don't have to love it. Like I'm not saying that carrots 
taste like pizza. Of course they don't, they're different. But I do enjoy carrots. I do enjoy how fresh they are, how crunchy they are, how convenient they can be. And you've just got the ready-made bags with the little batons and the, oh, so juicy. I also love sprouts. I can like pop sprouts back like popcorn. Do I think popcorn is exactly the same as sprouts? No, obviously it's not, let's not be ridiculous, but I do enjoy sprouts and so I eat them. And then when someone offers me something like quinoa or kale or a fresh green smoothie, I feel comfortable saying, oh, no thanks, because actually the healthy diet I'm living is good for me. It is adjusted to my taste buds. I'm not signing up for 90 years of taste bud abuse and struggle, dreading every meal because I hate it. What is that? That's not what this is about. When we're developing a healthy lifestyle, we're not just talking about adding years to our life. We also want to have a good quality of life. So you could live to 300 years old, but if you hate every meal, like, like why, like why though? What's, what was, what's the, like cool, you set a new record. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nah, to summarize, only eat healthy foods that you genuinely like. The caveat for that is find healthy food that you enjoy. Tweak meals that you already know, that you're already comfortable with. Adjust the ingredients to make them more nutritionally balanced. Don't feel pressured to eat exactly the same as me or anyone else. For example, what I'm about to make for breakfast is plain porridge. <laughs> And you'll see on all the fitness influencers, you'll see their fancy porridges covered in loads of stuff. I used to do that for a while. And then one day I realized I actually really like my porridge plain. Maybe I add a bit of cinnamon, maybe some blueberries, and I really love it. That is exactly how I love it with milk. I could just eat plain oats and milk for breakfast every day for the rest of my life and I would be genuinely happy. Does that mean, oh no, Sarah, you need to add in all these other flavors and things and blah, blah, blah in order to live a healthy diet? No, I can have those things in other meals later in the day that I also enjoy. I'm pretty nervous to put this out there because I'm scared everyone's gonna be like, no, you have to power through. And don't get me wrong, there is an element of powering through. Like, of course it takes discipline to change your diet. Of course it takes a while to get used to healthier versions of things. For example, the way I make my jollof rice now is different than how I used to, but I really enjoy it now. Yes, it tastes different than the other type, but it still tastes really good. The way I make my plantain now is different than how I used to. So instead of deep frying it, I will use fry light spray and shallow fry it. Does it taste a little bit different? Yeah, but it's just a little bit different. And so those are adjustments I've had to make, I've had to learn, I've had to have a bit of trial and error, but it's worth it in the long run. So if you're planning, on you know 2021 forcing yourself to chug back stuff that you hate i recommend you adjust that plan so that it's things that you like because sticking to a life of taste bud torture is really hard it is really hard and i don't even recommend it i want you to enjoy food i want to enjoy food it's one of the many gifts in this life and this life is tough enough without hating every meal i feel like i'm gonna stop talking now because i'm actually starving so hungry. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna wish that I had done my hair before this video, but whatever. Okay, if you like that video, please subscribe, like, thumbs up, subscribe. Join me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Sign up for my Healthy at Home plan. If you haven't already, it's amazing. What are you doing? Come work out with me. Link in the description. And that's it. I hope you're loving the more regular uploads. I plan on keeping it up. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye. Love you so much. Bye.